Jesus said, Man cannot live on bread alone, but from every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You're listening to Daily Truth. Malachi 3.6, once more. Behold, I am the Lord, I changeth not. Therefore you, O children of Jacob, are not consumed. Our God has anger, he is a consuming fire in his holiness and in his wrath. But our God is also unchanging. He is immutable. See, the pagan gods of mythology would would shift every other day. They're hot, then they're cold. They're loving, then, then they're furious. Our God has anger, but he has appropriate anger at the right time for the right thing and the right measure. And in his patience and kindness, he is slow to anger. He is slow to anger. But the beauty of our God is that he does not change. He's immutable. And that is a security for his people, for his sons. The fact that God doesn't change, especially as it regards his anger, is a security and an assurance for his sons. The New Testament speaking to fathers in their relationship with sons says this, fathers do not exasperate your sons. Earthly fathers do in fact have a tendency because of our sin to exasperate our children, especially sons, especially sons, to not have patience, to expect perhaps more than than the son is capable of at that moment, to expect from a two-year-old what what really should not be expected of a boy until he's five years old. Now, this doesn't mean that fathers shouldn't discipline their sons. Of course they should. But there is a way of disciplining our sons, admonishing them in love, and there's a way of exasperating our sons. And the beauty of God the Father, as the perfect father, is that he does not exasperate his sons, ever. And one of the ways that earthly fathers, who are sinful, exasperate our sons is by demanding too much, unreasonable expectations that come out of, out of our own emotion, a moment of fluctuation in our passions. All of a sudden, we just, we get fed up and we burst. Like we were treating our son with lots and lots of patience and then all of a sudden, we just, we lose it. Like, like we, we, we're... I don't know, we're doing something, we're working on something, maybe we're having a conversation with someone and our son is just tapping us and tapping us, and dad, 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 and then all of a sudden we blow up. When what we should have done is like five minutes earlier, because he's been doing this for five minutes straight, and yes, it is annoying, but five minutes earlier, what we should have done is stop the conversation that we were having just for a moment, say, excuse me for just a moment, son, and address our son. Son, don't interrupt. That's disrespectful, that's rude, I want you to wait. What we do with our kids is we say, you know, because they'll say, uh, well, I'm not interrupting. I just, dad, 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 I want to tell you something. I'm not interrupting. I don't have to tell you now. I just want you to know I'm going to tell. But then, but then that is an interruption. So one of the things we try to train them to do is uh, just put their hand. If I'm talking, if dad, dad is talking, if mama's talking, put your hand on us. Just leave your hand there and look at us. You can just stare at us with your hand on us until, until we pause. And we'll have a conversation. Okay, that way you're not interrupting. But my point is, human fathers, sinful fathers, we erupt because because we don't handle things rightly, but also because we are are not a most pure spirit without body parts and passions. We have passions, meaning emotions, and we fluctuate, not just from day to day, but but minute to minute. We are mutable. We we are constantly in, in flux. And and sadly, we often are mastered by our emotions rather than mastering our emotions. And so because of our emotions and constantly shifting back and forth from this feeling to that feeling, human fathers, sinful fathers, at times, sadly, erupt. And, And in that moment, like a fire, we consume and exasperate our own sons. Again, Malachi 3, 6, our heavenly father is not like us. He says, for I, the Lord, do not change. Therefore you, O children of Jacob, O sons of Jacob, are not consumed. Our Father does not consume us in his anger. Consume us in the fire. He is a consuming fire, but he is not consuming his own. 
And it is because he does not change. Wait, 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 real quick before you go, do me a favor, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell so you'll be notified with all our new content as it comes out on a daily basis. And if you're willing to support this ministry, you can do so by going to rightresponseministries.com slash donate. Thanks so much. God bless.